things in our bodies. All right. We're back. I just had a discussion with editorial, etc. on stuff. Ugh. All right. I got a cutscene coming, so muting. Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Okay, holding on. Okay, so I don't think I have. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're getting closer to it. Okay, this is where you want to be to get the quest. The quest is here. I don't get it yet. I think I gotta do a little bit further in the main storyline, but there are three temp quests. Along the way, we have a lot to do. So I'm going to do a couple things here. And you can do, you can go explore so much now. Oh, so much. But we're going to do the side quest stuff. 
uh, primarily. Yes, tomorrow we'll get back to doing the main stuff. But right now, there's three... What's this one? Oh, Beast Against Beast. Okay, that we'll do last. These two we can do, though. There's two here in town. One right here. I have to find him before the Imperials do. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now... One of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Sure. Of course. I don't even think about the reward. I just say, yeah, we're going to do it. Out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false. Acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find a bastard myself. Oh, boy. Oh, no, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. All right, so if you want Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. Yeah. He's over in here. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Where? We'll get this too. Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. It's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. <laughs> One thousand gil. you look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed oh it. All right, eaten it, but 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 only might have. You understand? There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry, there, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say, the ladders, right over there. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not uh, prioritizing this one. Oh, we're not prioritizing that one. We're prioritizing finding Norris. I'll help you in a minute. So he's over to the left. So he's over here, right? Oh, we're still dealing with false friends. I don't know 
man called Norris to you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. So that's where we need to go. Uh, I need to get down there anyway, so might as well go do the crab. Alright, we're going down. Crabs are right here, so we'll take him. Never heard of crabs eating a crystal. That should be interesting. Sick of Toggle. Well, we kind of have to. Oh, let's go get that. We might have to fight stuff. Thank you. Take the sharp fang. You kind of go far. I better keep my eyes peeled. We'll give that. Loot! Oh. Here's his a lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. <laughs> At least I know which way he went. Yeah, he's over there. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. <laughs> Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. <laughs> I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But, if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. Bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. Mm hmm. Oh, but here's the thing we can do.
I'd love being able to fast travel. Brings back my Final Fantasy 14 days. I'll be oh. fucked if I'm leaving this to a bearer. I'll go. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting mm. a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. <laughs> Thank you. It's not much considering, but please. Take this. That's complete. Ooh. And I have enough to get the skill. Perfect. And materials. And let's go turn in the other one. I presume. You found it! Oh, thank you! Any longer out in the sun and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the cash to town. <laughs> there was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Or figure out another way to cool them. Okay, so now we just have that. We'll go get that. Okay, but before I do that, anywhere else. Abilities. I can get it now, right? There we go. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go to... That's the wing of fire. That's the circle that I don't really use. Keep my spin quickly creating. Uh, Some are projectile as well. this okay so that 
will heal me now. Alright, so we're good. Alright, so let's go get the next side quest done. Which is a bunch of fighting. Oh, 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 oh I see that. Oh, got some more music. Thank you. Yeah, the bridge is complete. Yeah, there's the music. Martha said the blight spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Mm hmm. Uh, it's on the way, so we'll get the quest on the way. But, oh, and spiders, spiders, spiders. Okay. Let's fight them. Quite a bit of death and destruction. Now, I want to make sure I don't fight any bluebirds because bluebirds, they're too cool. Alright, let's get going. Ah, right, here we go. Get him, boy! Gotcha. Cool. There's thieves right there, but I want the side quest. But is there a chest? Are you guys guarding a chest? I think you guys are. Yep, they are. Okay, we're gonna take these guys out. You know what to do, boy. Get him. Stay down. Yeah, let's get this chest. Oh, <laughs> Jill just walks over here. Hey, there's a chest. Yeah. I'll divide it up. Don't worry. More stuff. I see loot. I grab loot. Ah, son of a bizquick. That's a good heal. What else am I fighting? Oh, this gray claw. Alright, let's go get the side quest that I keep ignoring. Which is right here. might look a branded no time to haggle with whoever holds your leash wait that's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing you in the marfins are you good she won't begrudge me the use of you then not while there's wolves about we tried dealing with them ourselves made out the bait think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot but 
We didn't expect the park to be quite so bloody bad. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. <laughs> well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We've made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something new. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? <laughs> All right. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I <laughs> wager the greedy bastard just stood over yonder, finishing off our bait. Okay, cool. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He'll want to know if he's safe to come across. Right. Cool. Off you go, then. We're going to prioritize that. <laughs> They're not far. Oh, look, wolves. Dead hungry, all right. Hungry and mean. Dare boy. Sick of Togo. Starving Alpha. No longer. Gotta find this Bryce. Let him know the road's safe. He is right up ahead. it to you bearer your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves so i got rid of the wolves <laughs> you'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack yeah then again if you didn't you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge yep bugger me you're a tough one aren't you <laughs> oh frederick you wily bastard i never thought to pit beast against beast like that <laughs> served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Yeah, she's, sta she's standing right here. <laughs> Thank you. I will take all that money. Alright, now we got main quests to do. Right? Yeah, nothing else. Make sure there's nothing on the main map. Oh, nothing new on the main map. Eventually side quests start popping up all over the place, but right not yet. Okay. Look, we the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Grab that. Love and love. I was Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seems a very different place. Oh now. wait, is this a scarecrow? This is, these are the scarecrows. Ham. This is a original black mage or Final Fantasy IX reference. I think it's kind of cool. Drink up now, my darling. All right. East pool. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You, you're Clive Rossfield. Huh? Huh? It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Oh, Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. 
You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. <laughs> we should be delighted. No, well, that... And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <sighs> Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. <laughs> or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrek heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Such good framing. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. <sighs> I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that I would Clive. Kill his killer. Clive. Clive. I, was the only thing I know he doesn't know yet, but still. But he 
if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon <laughs> I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us We should get some rest. Clive, I'd just like to freaking smack you at this point. No, there's, there's, Good night, there's, Clive. It's like Cloud and Tifa all over again. Good job, Tor. Now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just yep. like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? I love this outfit. Elwyn became Archduke. Our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. I can so love this. Yes. Well, we have one of my favorite outfits. Fallen. Sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes. Thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. <laughs> but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Again. Fare you well. So much fleshed out. My Lord, even on small you. characters. And you, small bits. God, I got a lot. Hold on. Take us all the way to Phoenix. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. 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 Um, blah. Um, I just got a lot. Oh, I got Invictus. Oh, I equipped Invictus. Okay, good. Because Victus is just good. I got meta. Okay. Everything got equipped already. That's good. I have my Kate Sith charm. I have two Kate Sith charms. Oh, no, I don't. What's oh, equipped?
Okay, I see what's equipped. This is easy to tell. Okay. <sighs> set of seven swords said to have been yeah makes me happy okay so do we have side stuff we can do no but we do have the shop to go to and then up here so how much time i got i got 20 minutes so we're we're in good shape let's visit the shop Hey, dude. Well met, friend. Uh, I would like to sell. You can have this for sure. This should make me a few gil. Oops. Uh. Got anything else for me? Yes, I do. Oh, well, you won't say Cause... no. Come back soon, though. I'm wearing a ton of crud. crud. Oh. oh, I got Invictus. I got Invictus. I got Invictus. I love this. I love the look of this blade. Uh, Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to push the gate. Y you? Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. <laughs> oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. <laughs> the self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She almost swore that she would never part with them. Until the day Elwyn's sons returned. Oh, you got one of two. that day has come. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Yep. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. <laughs> and now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn 
I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. <laughs> Back in the day. All right. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, <laughs> let's go and meet that bearer. I she's my boss now. It's like Bluey and me. Bluey's in charge. Not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It will be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well, now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took out the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. <laughs> Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. see feasts I'm sorry oh he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day still thinks he's there now <laughs> you'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke oh uh -huh. even in a dream he is but better there than here I suppose can't imagine the Viceregent stopping to trade tales with a bearer can you no anyway You'll be around here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, mm. hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Mm, Perhaps thank the you. Chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. This is my duo. Clive and Jill. <laughs> hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me.
excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. <laughs> ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him, and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was oh, supposed no. to watch over him keep him out of trouble but if he's walked out on us there's not a lot I can do and so you went to the castle shit Understood. okay you keep searching here we'll look for him outside thank you I'm in your debt <sighs> I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble let's just concentrate on finding him someone over there it might be him we should hurry company we can't leave them to the old man they need to die agreed new enemies really There we go. That went quickly. Are you all good, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long. But you finally came! I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come. And at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? <laughs> There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. You... wait for me in Eastpool. Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. <laughs> it's almost like a side quest, but not really. This is important. Hello, may not seem it.
Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. <laughs> Blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here. We really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them. Soon enough. <sighs> Is it really that bad? Yeah. So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Mm -hmm. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. <laughs> well, that's complete. Whew. Back in the day. It's a very nice one. Very nice little sidetrack. <laughs> All right. Let's make for Phoenix Gate, and that's where I'll end the stream. Yeah, here we go. Loading. Come on, Jill. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. Light is leaching the ether from the soil, and when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Yeah, um, but I wouldn't say that. We won't be able to use any. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take the land of life force. And problems are all that's left. I don't think What's I can this? get in here yet. Another relic of the fallen. Yeah, can't get in here yet. I know what need is needed. Sucks. But yeah, we'll be back. Okay, let's slow down a bit. Ooh, I got a potion. Because this will be the last group of cutscenes I do for the day. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Uh, uh. Above the fridge. Got it. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's 
time to discover the truth. Wait, wait. Needed that. That's a good picture. Okay. We are almost back where it all began. And after tomorrow's stream, a lot's gonna open up. Ah, oh, cannot wait. That I will see you guys in the near future. Thank you for watching. And uh, we, we're, well, we're gonna stay right here for the moment because I need to stop the stream here. All right. See you guys soon.